Hey, good afternoon, guys. This is our next study for the junior high and high school class. And today we're going to be looking at 2 Timothy 2, verses 1 through 18. And we are focusing on um, some of the difficult times. These verses focus on some of the difficult times that Timothy was going to have to endure and some of the writings that um, Paul, some of the instruction that Paul gave to help Timothy um, through those difficult times. So I want to start out today with three questions that you guys can meditate on the rest of this week and this weekend before our call on Monday night and um, just kind of give you something to think about and um, keep in mind as we read through these verses. Where does Paul tell Timothy to find his strength? And if you want to go to Romans 8, verses 30 through 39, that gives us more insight into, into the grace that we have in Christ. The second question, what traits do you see in a soldier, an athlete, and a farmer? And these traits can be, you know, traits they have in common or traits that they have individually. Um, just what, what do you see? What's the idea that you see um, that, that Paul is trying to get across when he talks about a soldier, an athlete, and a farmer. And third, think about, think of different places or people that you get approval and um, how, how you gain their approval. Do we, how do we gain approval from God? So with those three questions in mind, um, let's go over just a little bit of context that we talked about last week and continue this week in the second chapter. Paul, Paul is in jail and he is, he's about to die. He's about to be um, put to death. And he's stirring up Timothy to be strong and courageous in the difficult times that, that he was facing and that he was going to continue to face. So as we talked about last week, we, we are all going to face challenges and we're going to um, we're, we're going to have to overcome difficulties and the only, um, all, all of our challenges can be overcome in Jesus. So with that in mind, let's get into reading the verses. So, um, second Timothy chapter two, verse one reads, you then my child be strengthened by the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And what you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses and trust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. So Paul, Paul tells Timothy here to be strong, to be strong in the grace that we have in Jesus Christ. He, one, one thing to think about, you guys are the, you guys are the, the faithful followers of Jesus that, Paul is telling Timothy to instruct, you guys are going to pass this on to your kids and to your friends and to your family. You guys are, you guys are those faithful followers. So that's something that, that encourages me to think about, and hopefully it can encourage you as well. We'll continue in verse three, sharing suffering as a good servant of Jesus Christ. No soldier gets entangled in civilian pursuits since his aim is to please the one who enlisted him. An athlete is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. It is the hardworking farmer who ought to have the first share of the crops. Think over what I say, for the Lord will give you understanding in everything. Hard times come and they will pass. What, what traits can you think of in these three different um, descriptions? A soldier, an athlete, and a farmer, think of some different character traits, some different, you know, difficulties that they have to overcome, how they're able to overcome them, and how, how does all of this apply to our walk with God? When, when I played football in high school, um, we had to lift weights and we had to practice all year long, and it took diligence, hard work, loyalty, perseverance, in order to be the best that we could be. As we walk with Jesus, those same traits are necessary for us to serve, serve our God. Let's continue in verse eight. 
Remember Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, the offspring of David, as preached in my gospel, for which I am suffering, bound with chains as a criminal. But the word of God is not bound. When is the last time that you saw someone get raised from the dead? And we're not talking about a movie or a video game or anything like that. Jesus Christ rose from the dead and ascended into heaven. And that is, that's, that's, that's awesome, guys. Let's continue in verse 10. Therefore, I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they may also obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. The saying is, the saying is trustworthy. For if we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Paul is willing to endure so much pain and suffering, and even death. And he, he shares this truth with Timothy, that if we have died with Christ, we will live with him. And if we endure, we will also reign with him. But he also tells the flip side, that, that if we deny him, he will deny us. So it's, um, it's very important that we keep this in mind um, as, we, as we grow in our faith, our faith in our, our walk with Jesus. Let's continue in verse 14. <clears throat> Remind them of these things and charge them before God, not to quarrel about words, which does no good but only ruins the hearers. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. But avoid irreverent babble, for it will lead people into more and more ungodliness, and their talk will spread like gangrene. Among them are Hyphenes and Philet, Philetus, who have swerved from the truth, saying that the resurrection has already happened. They are upsetting the faith of some. Again, we, I know we've talked about this a couple times, but it's so important that, that we're going to talk about it again. And Paul talks about it again. Paul writes not to quarrel or to fight, to argue about nonsense. He, he urges Timothy to present himself approved to God. So as you, as you think about these verses this week, think about these questions that, um, that I gave you and think about the grace that we have in Jesus Christ. Where does Paul tell Timothy to find his strength? Note that you can go to Romans 8, verses 30 through 39 to learn more about the grace that we have in Christ. The second question, what traits do you see in a soldier or an athlete? Or a farmer. The last question, think of different places or people you get approval. How do you gain their approval? How do we gain the approval of God? That's all I had, guys. I look forward to our call on Monday. And as always, if there's anything that I can do or any of us can do to help you, please reach out and please let us know. All right, talk to you guys soon. Thank you.